All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the latest Playmobil Pirate Warship. This is one of the big ones, and it's uh, the same size as the last big Pirate Warship overall, but it's very different in its construction. It's uh, quite a bit unexpected for me. First of all, something that I like very much about this one, the sails. They flow very nicely. Their curves are good. It's easy to, to get the, the rearmost this gaff sail back here to get a nice curve off to the side. And the front jib sail, if you will, gets a, you know, it's able to, to move off to the side properly. You can get those lined up well, which is a problem that I've had with, with some uh, Playmobil ships just not being able to, to set up the sails in a, a nice, consistent, and believable ways, or believable way. This one also has some space up in the in the forward deck this time, unlike a lot of them before, because the bowsprit is really elevated way up. So you actually have enough space where you can bring a, a figure up here along the side. You can bring it right up to the front. You can bring it along the side. You can actually have another figure on the other side. You can even have a, a small little battle going on just in this small little space if you want to. There's also a cannon there that's dedicated just to the bow. And this is a spring-loaded one, so you can shoot off this sort of rubber tipped projectile, which, you know, doesn't look that realistic with the bright uh, red or kind of neon red color there. But the great thing about these is that it, they're very hard to, to lose. And when you get the realistic, you know, all black ones and stuff, they, they tend to get caught in, in uh, crevices under baseboards and things, and then you don't find them again. Uh, something, oh, here's another really good thing about the design of this one. The way that the masts are secured to the deck, they're actually turned 90 degrees. You, you place it on and then you turn the whole thing 90 degrees and it locks in place. So you can lift up the whole ship from any of the masts, even if you remove the rigging from the side. It's very durable in that way. And it's very simple to, to, get, them, to get them in there, to get them secured properly. And it's, it's just more of a guarantee of success. Now for some things that I don't like about this. First of all, and for foremost of all, there's nothing you can do back here. Yeah, there is a uh, a wheel there. You know, it's it's a, it's a wheelhouse, and you can set your figures up there. That's good. You know, got some space, uh, a little bit of storage. You can place something on a table back there, and got a couple little small little powder kegs. So just a little bit of small small storage space there, but. There's nothing under here that you can do. This whole deck is completely sealed up from the top. So you see there are stickers here on the sides. That's all just solid plastic plates on the outside. There's nothing you can do inside. You can't open this up at all. There's all of this interior space. It's just filled up with styrofoam actually on the inside for, for uh, increased buoyancy and I think for a little bit of durability in shipping as well. So the playability level of this compared to the last big pirate ship is actually pretty poor. There's just so much less that you can do with it. You can still have your, your figures climbing up on, on the rigging. There's still a, a crow's nest up at the top and stuff, and all these spots around here can, can be grabbed onto by the figures. There's a lot of standardized uh, sized stuff. There's a lot less actual rigging that you do. As a matter of fact, there's only one single string on this entire ship that you actually have to, to wind up yourself and to tie. And it's this one over here for the working winch with the small anchor. It's a, such a small little anchor piece for such a big ship, but it does have a windlass in there and you can let that out so you can drop anchor. So you have to tie this end, you have to tie the other end. Other than that, no tying involved. Now, I realize that for younger kids, and I do remember when I was a younger kid, and I've, I've done actual scale models before, starting from a young age, I've done some other things that, that required, you know, actually dealing with small details, and I didn't, I didn't like them. I wanted to just get in and play, so this does help you to get in and play more quickly, but the slightly older kid, and also the adult collector in me who likes to display things, uh, kind of laments the loss, the steady loss of rigging, you know, actual working rigging that you have to set up yourself. You know, all the, the cords and things, all the, the, the tying of the knots and running lines all around that make something look more realistic. So realism is down, also play value is, is down overall with just the, the removal of, of the ability to get inside of here. This does still have a small hold, it doesn't have a crane 
for getting in there, but it's just a, it's such a small little hole, hold, a uh, little cargo hold there. You know, it doesn't. You can basically put a a, a single treasure uh, treasure chest in there, and that's it. And uh, you just have to pick it out yourself. Uh, doesn't really leave you a whole lot of space. These cannon ports on the sides are just for looks, uh, which is nothing nothing new right there. These are actually just attached on. They're attached pretty well, but you just clip them on pretty early on in the, the assembly. So assembly is pretty quick. The thing that takes probably the longest time is just putting on all the stickers around the edges, which actually look really nice. There's a nice consistent flow to all of that. But beyond that, yeah, I am. I am feeling a little bit down with this one compared to the others. Uh, I think that a lot of it looks nice. I do wish that uh, it had uh, a little bit different color between the, the sides of the rigging here and the color of the deck. Uh, it's just a little bit down on, on contrast there, but I do like the black hull. It's done in a very matte color, and I also like the sails. They're very contrasty. These figures are good, though. Lots of detail, lots of variety there. The detail is not only in the, the prints, but also the textures and the different types of accessories that are included to go with them. Although, this is all of the accessories that are included. Uh, no extra pile of stuff, no actual treasure chest or anything, no additional weapons as spares, just the stuff that you see here. But the stuff that you see here, I think, is well done, is nicely done, and you can reconfigure these in various different ways by taking off some of the stuff and changing some stuff around. So a nice crew, although a small crew. Speaking of small crew, did you see this small crew member? A little monkey which you can hang from any of the, the rigging or you can just make it, you can attach it to just about anything. It's made of rubber. It's all soft and flexible. So you can actually make it stand up like that and you can bring it up. Whoa it up like so into a sitting position or just a grabbing position. You see it's really designed to, to go around large things. It fits around small things as well, but you can attach it to the arm of a figure or you can attach it to a mast or to any kind of rigging or just about, you know, like a, a ladder, just about anything. The, the edge of the ship, it can be attached in many different places. So this is a, a pretty useful little piece and kind of cute. Overall, though, I'm sincerely sorry if I was a little bit of a downer with this review, but, you know, I've got to share my honest thoughts and opinions with all of you. And honestly, I think this ship has the size and the price of a big Playmobil pirate ship, but it has the play value of a much smaller and much less expensive ship. Uh, just has a lot of extra pretty much empty deck space. I especially feel like this has relatively lower value compared to others for kids at the upper end of the suggested age range, in addition to uh, collectors of all ages. If you have just one minute, I would really appreciate it if you would share your thoughts, what you think about the set, including if you disagree with my opinion and you think this is actually pretty good, that would be just great to hear, you know, to get different opinions that, that don't necessarily agree with mine, that's fine. Or if you do agree and you think that this doesn't have that great a value, please just share just really briefly why you think that. Either way, I appreciate your feedback. I always say that and I really mean it. And I appreciate your time and watching the video as well. Hope to have a chance to talk to you again soon because more videos are on the way. Bye for now.